Hello, this is Justin at The Tech Train here. And in this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create your own custom animated video text. I've got uh, a few effects here to show you. Uh, let's take a look at the first one. Uh, with these animated text effects, you can see how the text itself is animated, playing a kind of video loop or animation over and over again within the text itself. Here's a second example. The text itself, you can write whatever you want. You can choose whatever font you want, choose the background, choose the effects that you want. Uh, I'll show you how to create or how to source all these video effects that you see. Uh, here's another example with fire. It's a really good way of creating bold, striking titles. They don't have to be full screen as these ones are. You can have them as small or as large as you like and have them embedded within normal presentations. Here's another one. This is a slightly more subtle effect with a water effect within the text itself. And then one final example, but I could produce thousands and thousands of these. The uh, possibilities are endless. So a uh, really lovely effect, uh, really eye-catching and quite simple to do as well. So let's see how we do it. So to get started with this, I'm going to begin by adding a new blank slide. I'm then going to insert a rectangle. Just draw that out for the moment. And I'm going to remove the outline and then push it up into the top left corner of the slide and drag it down to the bottom right so it fills the background of the slide. But that's only because I'm doing this full screen. If you wanted to have this slightly smaller as a title, then of course you just simply resize this rectangle to be whatever background you want but it does work best with full screen once i've done that i'm going to right click on it and edit text and then type out the words that i want to use so for this example i'll use tech train let's put a space in between there as well um, now of course it does work best if the font is nice and large it also works well with more bold fonts so fonts that are thicker uh, and bolder, something like that perhaps would work well. Let's do that in fact. And the next thing we need to do is to change the outline of the font. You can have anything you want. Uh, for this example, I'm going to have a, a black outline. So I'm going to click on text outline, have a black outline. I want it a bit thicker than that. I can come down to weight and choose six point. But if I wanted to choose anything else, I could click at the bottom there and then choose whatever thickness I want for that outline. I think something like that looks good, 6.25. I'm then going to fill the text with a color which is different to the outline, but similar. So something that's fairly close to it. So because I've chosen a black outline, I'm going to go for a dark gray fill. I'm now going to look at the background of this rectangle and change that color as well. I'm going to put a gradient background on, so I'm going to click Shape Fill, Gradient, and choose a default uh, radial fill like this one. But I'm going to change that, so I'm going to go back into Shape Fill, Gradient, and More Gradients. And here I'm going to choose my own custom gradient, so I'm going to have black on the outside. Uh, then I'm going to choose, uh, let's say, a red color, and then in the middle I'm going to choose a purple color. And then we can just change those proportions like that. There we are. So I've now got my gradient background for this. And having spent all that time creating this wonderful title, I'm going to right click on this and cut it. Why? Because I'm going to right click and paste it, but not using the first paste button. Instead, use the second paste button, which is picture. So now we've pasted this as a picture. It's no longer editable text. The reason we've done this is because we can now click on this picture, head up to Format, and then click on Color, and choose Set Transparent Color. And here is where we click on the fill part of the text. So that now has cut out the text. So we can see as we move this around the screen, the text is now hollow. So having done that, I'm now going to go to Insert and click on Video and choose video on my PC. 
Now I've got a whole selection here of video loops. These are all high definition video loops, loops which, uh, sorry, video which loops over and over again. I'll put a link in the description below of the website that I use most frequently uh, that has a fantastic range of completely free Creative Commons video loops. Uh, I'm going to choose this one here, so I'm going to double click on that, and that brings up this video. Now I'm going to click on playback at the top with the video selected and choose two options. The first is to loop until stopped and the second is to start automatically. Third thing I need to do with this video is to click on animations and I'm just going to open up the animation pane and remove the trigger here. I'm going to click on that trigger and press delete on my keyboard. That makes sure the video starts playing automatically. And the final step is now to right click on this video and send it to the back. And there we are. Let's try playing this particular slide. So there we are, we have our text effect with a video background at the back and that was really awesome. So a really simple way of creating fantastic titles that will really catch your audience's attention. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do consider subscribing if you haven't already. And of course, it would be fantastic if you could give this video a quick thumbs up. Like, share, subscribe, and if you have any questions, please comment below. Also, if you are interested, I now have a Patreon page. So if you head to patreon.com forward slash the tech train, there are a number of ways in which you can subscribe and receive a range of benefits, including the ability to download all of the files that I use in my videos, as well as seeing extra videos with a few um, secret tips and hints. So this file here will be available on Patreon now so if you wish to download it, head over to patreon.com and hit subscribe. Thank you very much indeed for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now.